Hello my little butterflies, in today's video is going to be my April TBR. So y'all, I'm like recording this like so ass backwards, like I'm recording this before I do my wrap up, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload my wrap up before I upload my TBR. And I'm going to record my wrap up tomorrow, um, when the sun is better, but I'm, I'm filming at night, it's like 7 o'clock, like maybe a little bit after 7 o'clock right now and I'm filming and I don't know why I waited late to film, so I'm pretty sure this lighting is going to look bad, but I just started, I was thinking about what I wanted to read this month and I want, I just felt like recording, so here I am, I'm sorry for the lighting because I know it's going to suck, but this is it, like I was planning on recording today, like earlier, but I just was not in the mood. Like, it was storming really bad this morning, we had tornado warnings and tornado watches all morning, had tornadoes touching down, not, not, not by me, but like in Louisiana. So the weather was pretty icky and nasty this morning, then um, I had like a work appointment for Claire to get like, to get her vouchers to get her milk, and they were so rude, I just, it put me in a bad mood, I, I can't film while I'm in a bad mood, because I know it's gonna, my videos are gonna come out good, it's gonna come out like really bad, I do wanna see my attitude through the video. So. I had just decided not to film earlier, and I took a nap, and I woke up, and I feel like filming. So... I said, well, I'll film my TBR today, and then tomorrow I'll do my wrap-up and my Caterpillar Corner with Kalea because, you know, I said I wanted to start filming books every uh, video every month with her about what books I've been reading to her, and I'll do that when the sun is out and it's bright. Um, but, anywho, before I start with my TBR, I want to talk about something that I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all don't know about because it's not really, I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about it on booktube before. I searched this a month ago because I wanted to know if this was a thing. Um, this month, the 9th through the 15th is National Library Week, like National Library Appreciation Week. I didn't know it was a thing. Like, I don't know what made me want to search it, but I searched it and I found out it's a thing every year. Um, and it's usually in April every year and it's usually the second week in April and this year the dates are the 9th through the 15th. Um, I've never seen anyone do any events for it on BookTube before, and I'm not going to be doing one this year because I, I didn't have enough time to prepare for it, but next year I do want to start doing this like every year and doing like, I don't want, I don't know if I want to say a readathon, but like, like just some kind of like events, I don't, not a readathon, like, but just like an event every day of the week that, you know, like a, like you can make a video about and upload for Library Appreciation Week, and, um... This year, I think I'm just going to go and check out, like, a bunch of graphic novels from the library um, that I'm going to read that week because I already have, like, a set, like, books on my shelf that I want to read and I don't want to add too many more to it and I don't read them. But I just wanted to let you guys know that in case y'all wanted to do something. And apparently they said, like, a lot of people, a lot of libraries have, like, their own events. So maybe you guys should check with your local library and see if they had any events for National Library Week. But that's all I wanted to tell you guys and inform you guys on that because I haven't heard anyone ever say anything about it on YouTube and I didn't know it was a thing until recently. But I want y'all to see, I want y'all to find out about it and see if y'all, you know, want to do anything. Because I know a lot of people don't really go to libraries anymore. They like to actually buy their books, but this just might be time of the year where you might want to just show appreciation to your library and go check out some free books or whatever. Um, but getting into my TBR, the first book that I want to read this month, well, the first book that I want to finish this month is... The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander, and I'm almost finished, y'all. It took me a lot longer to finish reading this book than I thought it would. Not because it's a bad book, and not because it's long, either. I didn't read that much this month. Like, um, I read, like, pretty much the same amount of books that I read since January. I read four books, but I didn't, I didn't read as much as I usually do. I barely read this month at all, because um, I got a lot of new games, so like I've been watching a lot of TV and playing a lot of games. Like I got the new Ghost Recon. I've been playing that like a lot. So that really took up my reading time. Between that and looking at TV and looking at YouTube, I, I really haven't read that much this month at all. But I'm going to finish this. Uh, this book going to be finished by this week. I'm not going to stay tonight. I'm not going to stay tonight. I have to go to work in the morning. So I'm not going to be up all night reading it. But this is going to be finished this week. I promise that. But it's a really good book, y'all. Like, I can't wait to take... Like, this is so informative. Like, reading this, I learned a whole bunch of shit that I did not know about that, like, went on. Like, and, like, stuff you don't hear about. But at the same time, there's a lot of stuff in here that is, like, it more... You know about it, but it brings it to your attention more. And you get that... Like, oh, yeah, they so do do that. That's so true. Like, kind of reaction to it. Yo, this book is good. Like, I can't wait to tell y'all about it. I'm not even done with it. And I think y'all should go pick this fucking book up. Like, it's really informative. It's, it'll teach y'all a lot. So, definitely go pick this book up. Like, I like this book a lot. I'm not even done with it yet. So, 
the, the, I, I'm gonna talk about it later when I'm done and I'm gonna do my review on it, okay? The next book that I'm gonna read this much was, was my Ravenclaw Jar recommendation read. I have got to find a better way to like say this. But, and that is And I Darken by Kirsten White. And I'm gonna be listening to the audiobook for it, which I downloaded from my library. And I'm pretty sure a lot of libraries do this now. It's um this app, it's called OneDrive. And what it is, is a lot of libraries um, sync their like catalogs to it so you can like check out the ebooks and like any audiobooks if they have them you can check it out and they send it right to your device like your computer or whatever your kindle whatever you're using whatever it's compatible with and uh, i'm using my kindle and so i'm going to be listening to that on the audiobook that way i don't have to pay for it i get it for free um so i hope it's a good audiobook like i know i've listened to one audiobook like and that was Jane Eyre and that was so fucking good y'all I love that one so I hope this one is really good like I haven't listened I don't have too much history with audiobooks but I hope this one is really freaking good okay the next book that I want to read this month and I said this last month that this is definitely a top book that I wanted to read is King's Cage by Victoria Aviol which is the third book in the Red Queen trilogy and y'all know I love this trilogy so freaking much guys like i can't wait to read this like i'm so excited and this is like i think this is the thickest book in the series so far and i was told that there is another book there's supposed to be one more book after this and i'm so scared like i'm so scared for this book i'm so terrified like i'm gonna be cringing throughout the whole book because i'm i'm scared like i don't want anyone else to get hurt i don't want anyone else to get knocked off i'm just i'm so scared to read this book like y'all know how i feel about this series like um i've only done a video review for the first book which is red queen because i don't know how to go about doing like no spoiler reviews for like sequels to books because it's like how can i say anything about this book without spoiling the other book before so i think i want to start doing reviews for like sequels of books but it'll be you know it'll be spoiler reviews because it's the sequel how can i do a review for it and not spoil anything I'm not trying to go about that, but y'all, I'm so excited to read this book. Like, this is, like, I'm about to start reading this right after I finish The New Jim Crow. This is going to be the book that I'm going to jump into, because y'all know, this is, like, the top of my priority list. This is the top of my reading priority list right here, and I'm going to, I'm going to read this, baby. This is definitely getting read this month, no doubt about it. I don't care if I don't read anything else except this and The New Jim Crow. This is going to be read this month, okay? The next book that I want to read this month is The Thousand Floor by Katherine McGee. I've had this book since November, and I think that's when it came out was in November. I want to say I pre-ordered it, but I'm not sure. It might have come out in September. Maybe October. I think it did come out in November, though. But, y'all, this book is... I think this book is a debut novel for Katherine. I think it's, this is her first book. And I've been hearing pretty good things about it, okay? I've been hearing pretty good things about it here on book two, so I'm kind of excited to read it. And it's this is the it's a dystopian world, dystopian New York, and it's about this thousand floor building, and it's like everyone lives in this thousand floor building. Like in every floor is a different like social class. Like the first floor is like really poor, and the thousand floor is like the top, the riches of the rich. And so it goes every floor you go up, you you it's like another like money class social class i guess i don't know i don't want to necessarily say social class but it's about these five girls they're friends they're off the they're each from different floors they're not from the same floor they're from different classes and it, one of them which is on the thousand floor she's like the riches of the rich she ends up falling off the top of the it's like off the thousand floor i'm not sure if she committed suicide or someone kills her but it's that's like pretty much unheard of like that doesn't happen like that that just that's not a thing that happens there at all it's not like suicide doesn't happen people doesn't kill each other it's not something that goes on it's not a normal occurrence and it's about them struggling to find their place in this world and dealing with the loss of their friend and everything and i think this sounds great i never read like a dystopian book like this before this is something like kind of new because you i've never read a book like that where it's like different floors different classes like that's new i like that it might i'm, I'm hoping i'll love this book because it, it sounds good it has a really good concept going for it so i hope i really enjoy this book i hope i get to this much so i can talk about it i wanted to read it in november but apparently i didn't since we're here today the next book that I would like to read this month is the second book in a series that I'm reading and it 
it recently came out like it came out a few months ago but it recently came out and then it's a torch against the night by Saba Tahir and y'all know I love the first book I love the number in the edges I gave it I think I gave it a five out of five stars or a 4.5 out of five stars but this is my second runner up to um my favorite books like red queen was number one and this was number two like it almost beat red queen so you know this shit was good i can say it almost top red queen i loved i love 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 the name and ashes so i hope i love this book i can't wait to see what the fuck happened because how it and the ashes left off i was like <sighs> couldn't wait for this one to come out so i can't wait to see what's going to go on with the characters i can't wait to see who the snitch is like i cannot wait i have so many things floating around in my head about who the snitch might be i can't wait to see if you know everything's going to go right if Lyra's going to get her brother back like what's going to be like the relationship status of some of these people in here like what's like which direction are they going to go i can't wait like i'm like seriously like bucked up and excited about this freaking like maniac like crazy good book like Yo, like, I, I have no words. Like, I'm speechless for this book. Now, okay, I'm down to the last two books that I want to read this month. And I have two more because I wasn't exactly sure which one of them I wanted to read more. Because I do want to read both of them this month. But I'm not sure if I'm going to get to both of them. But they're both really short books, so I might. And looking at my TBR, the all the books I want to read are, are pretty thick. So I know somewhere now I'm going to want to read a short book to like re-boost me up to read another big book. And I just couldn't decide between the two which ones. So I'll put them both on here and I'll get to that road. I'll cross that bridge and i get there to see which one I want to read. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard. Um, one of them is Little Peach by Peggy Kern. And y'all, um, this book sounds really, really freaking good. Um... It's about this girl, her mother's on drugs and stuff, her mother's like a drug addict, so life at home is not all that good, so she runs away to New York, and she meets this charming guy who offers to help her and, you know, get her settled and up on her feet, and he ends up being a pimp, and he ends up turning her out, so now she's, you know, trying to get out of the prostitution life because she ran away from home, and now this dude is pimping her ass out, which she should have been smarter about it, but children these days are not i don't know how old she is i thought they had it in the synopsis about how old she is but she's a teenager and it's pretty much pretty much fighting it's pretty much a fight inside of her about if this pimp really loves her or is abusing her she's pretty much just having an abusive ass life all around and this book is like really 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 short y'all like it's not a long book at all it's freaking it's 190 pages so it's not even too 200 pages at all and then the pages the words are really big and the pages are really short so i'm pretty sure i can finish this like in a day like it shouldn't take me any time at all to finish this the second option that i want to read or of course i might get to both is so sad today by melissa broder and this is a collection of essays melissa broder is a poet but this is a collection of essays and it's about sex death love self-esteem anxiety depression addiction and like so on like they're pretty much tough topics and that's pretty much what it is it's pretty much about her just writing this collection of essays about her life that you know on subjects that other people not like a lot of people aren't really you know happy and proud to touch on like she's touching a lot of topics that people are scared to go to these days and she's like bringing it to reality and like letting you know her struggle and kind of like putting in some of her humor about it too because these are situations that she has gone through like y'all like i talked about this in my book haul i think i did but i really do want to get to this book because it sounds really good and like you know a collection of essays or a collection of poems aren't really anything long like there really is something you could get through in one day i've done it uh, every time i read a collection of poems i read it in that one day it doesn't take me two days to read a collection of poems or a collection of essays and it's been a while since I read a collection of essays. The last time I read a collection of essays was my freshman year when I went to Southeastern and it was for one of my English classes, but I did like it. Like, I, I did it, it, I did enjoy it. It's like, I think it was like my English 2 class I had to. Um, it was like our read pick because we did uh, a collection of poems before that and then we did the collection of essays. I think it was, I have it. It's, um, 
a thousand years of good prayers it was behind my line because i had to find it but it's called a thousand years of good prayers and it's a collection well it's not really a collection essay it's a collection of short stories i think it's like five short stories and at first i wasn't sure i was gonna like it like it started off slow for me but i actually ended up liking it i think i want to reread it because i only read it once and i read it for school so i think i want to reread it like on my free time and see if i feel different about it and um talk about it with you guys but y'all um i'm excited to read this because i do y'all know i like to read like poetic kind of stuff and this is supposed to be like really poetic and it's supposed to be like really serious so i i can't wait to read this <laughs> like i like to read stuff like this you know like down to earth and like kind of step away from like the fantasy like the YA kind of stuff and like kind of like take a breather on like the reality of the world you know but yeah i hope i get to this and i hope i get to little peach too i really really hope i get to both because i really really want to read both of them this month and i still like have no idea in sight which one i want to actually get to so y'all i don't know maybe y'all can help me out maybe y'all can sit here and like discuss with me like in the comments about which one y'all think i should get to if i had to choose between the two because i really have no idea which one i want to read between the two of those like i'm really like at a crossroads and i thought you know if i thought about it longer i could get through it but i can't I i'm still like deadlocked on it but and i don't want to say i'll wait till we get to that road because when we get to it i'll probably still be going through the same thing but anyway Thank you guys for watching my video today. I know the lighting sucked, so thank y'all for sticking in there and watching this with me today. And um, tomorrow the videos will be a whole lot better because I'm going to be filming while the sun is out. But thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Bye.